y'all, it's your girl, Chanel, from Complex Simplicity. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. I hope that you had a great and amazing day. Um, Tuesday is my late night at work, so I pretty much got home about an hour ago, and I'm still a little charged. So I said, well, I have the energy, and the game is over, and the hubby went upstairs. Let me do a quick little vlog um, for, the, for the website, right? So it's funny. Before I went to work today, I visited my mama. Love you, mama. <laughs> um, to pick something up and also just to spend a little time with her. And... Her and I, we always get to talking and we always talk deep, right? Um, and I was just expressing to her how I find in my experiences in life that people who I'm entering into a friendship with or who I'm getting to know at some point end up doing something that could potentially wreck things. Now, if I did something to warrant such wreckage, <laughs> such shadiness, <laughs> I'd be like, you know what, Chanel, you asked for it. You, you brought that on yourself, right? But I find a lot of the times, not that I'm perfect, because by far I'm not, um, I, don't I don't really do anything and the wreckage still ends up happening. And in the grander scheme of things, I say, okay, maybe that was God's way of saying to me, mm-mm, Baby girl, that person wasn't it to be in your life the way that you would want and need a friend to be, right? I said this before, maybe several months ago, probably in the beginning of when I started this whole website, I used to always say that I have a lot going on in my life, meaning between being a wife, between being a working wife, um, between being someone's daughter, someone's sister, someone's auntie, between being someone's co-worker, between being my own best friend out here, my time is actually limited, right? So I'm not in these streets trying to just hang out and party. I had my enough years of doing all that kind of stuff, right? I've learned to really enjoy my own alone time and company. I enjoy my, my time with my husband. I enjoy my time with my family. I enjoy, you know, um, the time and energy that it takes to pour into this website. So I don't really have a whole lot of time on my hands. First of all, being somebody's wife takes up a lot of your time. I'm sure all the other wives out there understand where I'm coming from, right? Um, I have responsibilities and things that come before hanging out with friends and things of that nature. So when I do set aside the time to um, enjoy the company of a friend, like it needs to be something that's going to go the distance in life and be real. And I got to a point this year where I decided to open myself up to embracing um, new relationships, right? Um, I'm normally the girl, like I said, no new friends, no new friends. Like that was me. Like, no, I'd rather stick with, almost like you'd rather stick with the devil you know than deal with a new devil at least you know what to expect with the devils you know and not to correlate people that have been in my life for years with the devil but i just say that to say um a lot of times even though i've made it clear in a lot of my friendships i'm at that point where it's like uh, i kind of am more growing in this direction and a lot of them are still over here you know um but then there's always a part of me that's like but at least i know what i'm getting with this group right here right the good the bad the in between i know what to predict i know them well enough to know what that is going to be at least in my mind i recently did an audio recording where i'm like do we really really know each other right that's a whole other realm but anyway at least from what I do know of people I've known for years I know what to kind of expect with them for the most part um so that kind of held me back from wanting to embrace um new relationships or friendships with women right so I kind of opened myself up to that a little bit more this year and you know um with quite a few people not a lot but a few and I feel like I was recently reminded, Chanel, you're the way you are for a reason, girl. Like, not that I can't get to know new people, but uh, I don't know. 
you know it's kind of like sorry i thought i had something in my teeth <laughs> it's kind of like the disappointment is was still there right um and i'm trying to do this in a way where no one feels singled out or you know put on the spot or anything like that but what i do what i was saying to my mom that i pretty much have seen in my 33 years of living is that for whatever reasons there's a break there's there's something that happens in my friendships um and i don't know i don't know but there's something that happens where things cannot progress in, in like the relationships can't grow the distance of time a lot of times because a lot of times the other person decides to make a move that either can be shady or that just reveals to me that you may not be the best candidate to go the distance in life with and the type of friends that I'm looking for the type of girlfriends that at this stage of my life almost going to be 34 in July I need friend girlfriends who are going to grow and go the distance people who want to grow right I've, I did an audio recording on this months ago my mom always says this and it always it, it always resonates with me she even said it to me today if you are the smartest person in the room get out <laughs> right and i find that a lot of us are in rooms where in some ways we are the smartest person and ultimately what that means is you're um, you're aligning yourself and surrounding yourself with people or individuals who are not about growth and so if anything there's a higher chance that they will hold you back than grow with you or help you to grow and i said back in the summertime with for my own life and myself i'm t i don't want to be the smartest person in the room i want to be in a room with people who are smarter than me who can help me to grow who can teach me certain things right where we can have a, real, a friendship where the growth is very clear like i'm tired of being in friendships with women where it's stagnant growth nobody wants to grow nobody wants to work on their emotional and mental health issues nobody wants to work on them nobody wants to own their ish nobody wants anyone to be honest with them everybody wants to to make passive aggressive moves and do things and hide their hand and you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm over it I want to be in a room with women who can even help and teach me it should not be where I am probably a little bit more progressed than everyone else in the room I'm done with that <laughs> I want to be in a room with people who can help me to grow who I can learn from as opposed to playing the role of the teacher in some kind of ways and when I say teacher not that I'm like you need to do this you shouldn't do this this but just as far as the choices that I've made for my own life pretty much speak for themselves as far as where I am emotionally and mentally you know what I'm saying and where my self-esteem lies and um I was recently reminded that Chanel as much as some people may be nice and great as much as you may connect with people if they are not about upward movement and growth for their own lives and their own situations to the point where they can not even fully unveil themselves and in, 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 in their world and really be who they are in all environments that you with you it's not worth it you know what I'm saying I'm tired of always having to be shunned or to be treated as such because of your insecurities right and when I say you I'm not really speaking to you but just because of other people's insecurities like after a while it gets exhausting this is the story of my life right where certain friendships we hit a roadblock because oh someone else's insecurities kind of get in the way I'm sorry I can only be who I am I can only live how I live I own my life what it is who's a part of it it is what it is if you can't rock with it then fine if you can but you can't open yourself up that way to me fine we don't have to be on that level you know um but it does get exhausting and so i believe every 
thing that I go through in life is for a reason and to teach me something. And perhaps this recent lesson for me is the fact that Chanel, don't be hard on yourself when you find yourself really like being extra careful about who you let in your life because not everybody is ready for the level of friendship that you offer and the level of friendship that you want yourself, right? Some people are still, as my brother says, playing in the sandbox and surrounding themselves with people who they feel will not call them out on their stuff or with people who they feel will um, accept them and what comes with them, but at the same time, I get it, you know, we all wanna be around people who we feel are not judgmental, people who are going to ride out with us, people who are going to be loyal to the end. But at the end of the day, ask yourself, the people that you have in your life, are you the smartest person in that room? Can they offer you anything? Is there growth to be had with all of you, within all of your friendships in life? I know I always ask myself this question. And sadly, you know, sometimes the answer could be something that I'm like, oh, not another one. Like, damn, when can it ever just happen, right? You know, but I, I know what I need to do. I need to be in a room with people who they're doing better than me in life. Who can help me out, right? Like, I want to surround myself with those people um, and still have something to offer them as well, but not always surrounding myself with people who are just not there yet. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, emotionally. Still have a lot of stuff they got to deal with within themselves. Like I always say, if you feel that you can't fully be yourself around someone, if you can't fully be yourself around me, I don't know what to tell you because guess what? I am myself around whoever the heck is around. <laughs> you could be my supervisor. You can be my friend. You could be my husband. You can be my parents. You can be my sibling. You can, whoever I'm going, Chanel, you could be a stranger. Chanel is going to be who Chanel is in all environments around all people. And I find that the people who have a hard time with that, it's maybe because they're struggling with 100% being themselves. And um, I don't want people who feel like they have to be their better self when I'm around. Like, come on, you know, be who the hell you are. Like, I don't know. But anyway, I, I can't be the only one who experiences this in life. Like, I feel like I need to write a book. <laughs> this is like crazy. Like, is there any women out there who can, who won't be threatened by being around someone who knows who they are, who loves who they are, who's confident, who's content with their life. Yes, I have issues and things I still need to work on, right? But for the most part, I'm a healthy thinker, a healthy person emotionally. Is there a woman out there that wouldn't have any issues in being in a friendship with someone like me? Because I find that it's hard. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for someone to like prove me wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Half the time, I'm like, what the heck am I giving off? Because it's, it's like really getting exhausting now, you know? Like, come on. I'm not the only sane, healthy one in life, right? There are people who are more sane and healthy than I am, and I need to find where they're at. <laughs> where they at? <laughs> um, so I just felt like dropping a few lines about conversation my mom and I were having. The good thing is, you know, my mom's a very wise woman, as I always say, and she's like, listen, Chanel, don't worry. <laughs> she said, in life, I've learned to be my own best friend. And I said, listen, my husband's my best friend. But as far 